Clement with Kathy by Design. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Well, summer's winding down and that means the kids are going back to school. So today I have this adorable Live, Learn, Grow back to school mini album made with authentic scholastic. I love, love, love the primary colors that are used in this collection. It's just perfect for back to school albums. So this is a Graphic 45 tag and pocket album that I've altered completely. Um, the cover is intact and the binder is intact, but everything else has been changed. And I've just layered up some Spectrum Lemon Drop cardstock with um, 12 by 12 papers from the collection pack, cute buttons, um, little charms and things from my stash to make this a really beautiful dimensional cover. But I love it because the eye is drawn to the center. And here's a little tip. I've created a triangle. Do you see this? These buttons, this bow cluster, these buttons on the bottom create a triangular shape that the eye moves through and picks up all the little elements. So even though there's a lot going on, you still have a clean design. There's nothing off in left field to draw your attention away from the focal point. So it's like, this is the star of the show and these are the supporting cast and that's just really good design. So on the spine, this is just a really fun, simple idea. I took some yellow pencils, we all have those, glued them together, tied a little gingham bow around them, added some little buttons. These are from Buttons Galore, a little vintage key from my stash, and this is one of the little um, inchies or twinchies from the paper collection, and I just turned it into a tag, super fun. And here's a look at the back, and I included this wonderful quote from W.B. Yeats, education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. So there's our cover. So we flip it open, and oh, I should tell you, this is a big album. Um, so there's lots of room for photos inside. This is eight and a quarter, and I wanna say it's eight and a quarter by eight and a half, and it is. So inside, on the front cover, I created this cute little waterfall feature. And these are six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you just flip this up, I've left the top blank. You can add photos there and photos below. I would show you the paper collection, but I have honestly used every single scrap. And then here's a little pocket where you can tuck in photos or report cards or uh, souvenirs from field trips, a little chipboard button, and a little novelty pencil. And then this just ties with a ribbon. And I have lots of tutorials on my blog for creating waterfall um, features, so you can check my YouTube, and I'll put links below. So you just tie this bow to hold everything so that it doesn't flap around in the breeze. Keep it neat and tidy. Okay, then I just took, this is actually the little strip that you get in the collection pack that shows you the sampler, and I just trimmed this down to fit the center binding to break up all this black. So this is, um, I don't think I kept any of the original pages. These I just cut from heavy black card stock, and then I've added a bunch of interactive features here. So the base page is, um, Hold on. This one is seven and a half by seven and a half. And then I just scored a little two inch flap and um, you've got room for a great big photo here. You've got room for journaling over here. These are the stickers from the element sheet and this is a tuck spot so you can put your photo even down there. So this will hold a great big first day of school photo. Room here to put your child's name, which is really fun. And then I just held it together with this cute little ladybug clothespin. And this is also a fussy cut from the cover on the paper collection. So don't overlook those things. There's lots of good design elements there. And then this flips over. Here's another little flip page. And this just has the gingham paper in the background measuring four and a half by seven and a half. And then I just took another piece of this plain black cardstock. I think this is 11, yep. And I just scored it at five and a quarter to create this little flap. 
and then you just glue the back side down and you've got room for one, two, three photos here. And again, these are all just, this is just, this is a cute idea. This is one of the little stickers matted on black cardstock, punched a hole, and then ran burlap string through it and it looks like a little embellishment with this paper clip. So that goes there. Then on this page, this I made um, into a pocket page. I just glued down a smaller piece, and all of these are five and a half by seven and a half. A smaller piece here, and then created a pocket on the bottom, which you've seen me do a hundred times. Decorated it up, and then on the inside, I put some of the little cut aparts and backed it with the lemon drop um, spectrum card stock, so there's a great place for a photo. More room to tuck photos here, but then this sweet little folio opens like this. So there's room for, you could probably do six small photos here. And this has a little magnetic closure. So then that page flips over. Here I did a fun little belly band treatment with another one of these little folios. This one is six sections, and this will hold four by six photos. So little flaps, make these just by um, folding. This is just like a quarter of an inch, and I glued it underneath the base paper. So this piece is 12 inches, and I scored it at four and eight, and then just accordion folded to make this little folio. And this tucks behind the belly band, and of course there's room to tuck more photos there, or you can do, you know, journaling or whatever. So this is really fun. I wanted to make different sized pages. So these pages are square, and they are eight and a half, wait a minute, eight and a, sorry, six and a half by six and a half inches. And I just made room for photos here. And then on the inside, you've got these little tip-ins with journaling spots and then room for more photos here. But to do the tip-ins, um, you just cut, actually this base paper is actually eight and a quarter, I'm sorry. And then I scored it at one and a half to make the little tip-ins on each side. But very simple technique, but adds so much fun to a little album. And then I had some cute novelty buttons in my stash, and again, another one of these little ladybugs. Here's another little uh, place to tuck a photo back behind. And then this is another one of those fun little pocket pages that we made together. Oh no, this is the actual, this is actually the only piece I kept from the original album, which is one tabbed pocket piece. And this is right in the center of the album. And then I created a little magnetic flap feature. Pull this down so you can see. Um, with room for journaling and photos. And this measures... Five and a half by four and a half. So you could do photo here, photo here, photo here. Then the pocket, of course, you can tuck more in, but then I made just some little um, five and three quarter inch square inserts to go inside and topped it with a little tab. So you can do a photo on the front and a photo on the back. And then this little guy fell off. He actually goes right here. I just matted one of these little stickers, added a red paper clip to go with our primary color theme and that just lives in the pocket. And then the back side is the exact same. Just another one of these fun little inserts with a flap. And again, to make a flap, just score either a quarter or a half inch line before you put your liner paper down, tuck it behind, add your adhesive, and there's your flap. And of course, these are the little sticker tabs from the paper collection. And this is another one of those little magnetic folios. Over here, this is a fun one to make, and this is um, my base pages are all six and a half by eight and a half. And what I did on this one was I went ahead and cut a flap that measures five and a half by seven. I scored a half inch line, glued the half inch flap on the back side of the base page and that made this fun little flap. This is good sized for big photos. Um, 
So this way you're not doing any, you know, fancy cutting or anything. It's all real simple. Yeah, this is five and a half. And again, I cut it to, actually, I think I did six and a half and then scored a flat. And then on the inside, you've got room for this great, a great big area. Here you can tuck photos in. Here's a little flap. And then I just bundled together. I matted um, fussy cut images, bundled them together with this fun paper clip. And then here's a fun idea. This is from the fussy cut page. I cut these two images together, scored down the middle, and then just lined the inside for a little mini photo wallet. And this all just stays right back behind this belly band. And of course, you can add more photos to this. So lots of room there. And then this is the last page. And again, this is one of my flap pages. I cut this one eight and a quarter by seven and a quarter, and then scored it at five and three quarters. So you've got the gingham on the background. You've got this cute little matted photo here. Room for a little journaling. White gel pen would be super cute because it would look like chalk. And then just some little decor. And then on the back cover, this is the only really tricky thing, but it's even it is not very tricky. This is a little pullout page. And from just plain black cardstock, um, I created this. Sorry guys, my progressive lenses are giving me a fit this morning. Five by, I believe this is 12. Score this at five inches to create your little folio. Then this is a little tab that I had from cutting out one of the pockets with my dies and I save these and I turn them into cute little decorative features and then just layered all this cuteness up. Um, a little pull out photo mat here. Um, so you could put a photo back behind here, then a photo mat here and room for a photo here. Now to do this, and these are the little photo corner stickers. So to do this, this is, hold on, six and a half inches wide. So I cut an extra half inch on each side. So I did seven and a half inches. I scored a half inch, I scored a half inch. I scored a half inch along the bottom. The, the height of this is, eight so eight and a half so seven and a half by eight and a half score half inch on the sides and on the bottom and fold that to make this really big pocket take an oval die cut out your black cut out your designer paper this is just a little tiny strip of the pencils that is stuck back behind here to cover up the black and then you've got this great big pouch you can put report cards in here you can put all kinds of uh, wonderful memorabilia and then down here another one of these little arrow clips let me pull this out room for a photo here's a little tuck spot this cute little plaid lunch box and this all just lives right here very happy and then your little photo wallet tucks back behind the page so it's just a fun change up from your standard you know slash pocket or whatever and I'm going to put these in here so they don't get lost because these are great for sticking the photos in and that's one of the reasons I went with black instead of navy for this album because um I knew I had the black photo tabs let me just put this little guy right here so that is my project super fun it took me with the design and everything else, it took me just about a full day to make, but that's not bad for a great big album like this. Super cute to put out on display and a wonderful way to chronicle your child's year at school. I will have a linked supply list on my blog and I'll put that in the description box below so you can just click on that and find links to all the different product that I used and of course tips and tricks and photos and all of that. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful school year. And now I am going to go get my craft on. Bye.